have misconceptions about fitness. However, in a nutshell, it's all boiled down to how do you want to feel good about your body and yourself. Now, I've always tried to achieve that perfect fitness body figure from a younger age because it's something that always demonstrated by the media and I questioned myself how can I have more visible ab lines or being able to live stronger and then something actually happened it hits me hard when I actually got there I realized that the perfect routine actually doesn't stay because life happens, right? I start to get mixed feelings of anger, anxiety, which fuel into self-doubt. I question myself, why can I maintain such routine? Why everybody else can, but I can't. I forgot the fact that I also have a full-time job and thousands thousand of others respons responsibilities to juggle in between my days. At the end of the day, I'm also a human and everything can't just be perfect all the time. So in the past two months, I actually gained five more kilos, but I have become 10 times mentally stronger to realize one simple but bitter truth. The fact that when we join the fitness journey, there will always be that stage of imperfectly perfect stage. So from time to time, we will always keep learning, keep failing, keep getting injured, but then we'll come back and get stronger. That's life. Everything that it is now, your physics, appearance, everything you achieved so far doesn't last forever. But one thing is that how you feel about this journey, how you connect to your body and yourself will last forever. I hope with this story about my back injury will help you somehow, somewhat, we can inspire each other to keep showing up and push ourselves through this fitness journey. Thank you for listening and I'll see you in the next video. Like every cat ain't gotta maintain the cap You can make change, don't change for that Tell the whole truth, get paid for that Bet you never fall off, you was made for that You gotta be who you really be, shine from the inside